Hey, I'm Al. Welcome back to Al's Vinyl Collection. Tool fans, how are you doing? What's going on? It's been a hot minute since I've listened to a Tool song, but don't worry, because I promised you, and I'm, I'm following through on my promise, we're going to be listening to Tool in their entirety. Not in this video, don't worry. This isn't going to be like a, a two-day long video. We're all good. <laughs> I'm going to be listening from now on to Tool's entire discography in a chronological order of release date. So, today, we're going to be listening to Intolerance, the first track on Undertow. Undertow was released in, let me just get my facts right before I say this, 1993. I'm very excited for this. Um, the Tool I've heard has just been phenomenal and I think I hope I did a good job in conveying the emotion I know sometimes I don't do a good job let me just pause that right there sorry about that <laughs> I know sometimes I don't do a good job at conveying emotion through these videos and I don't want you to think I'm not appreciating the music believe me I am so Let's listen to Intolerance by Tool.
<laughs> okay. I am reminded every time I listen to Tool of why I enjoy listening to Tool. I Maynard James Keenan, holy hell. That's a this is such a weird thing for me to say because I haven't really felt this with with an artist with a vocalist before. But that's a voice I miss hearing. Every time I listen to Tool, the voice his voice is just like a a pleasant welcome back from someone you've missed some from someone you haven't seen in a while. You know, it's like you come home from uni or something and and you see your family and that's what his voice is like. It's like a it's like a welcome back. It's like a <laughs> it's great. It's great. The instrumental to that song, wow. It felt so powerful. It it reminded me of I don't know what I don't know why it reminded me of um there's something to do with like Vietnam, you know, that era, that kind of that 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 period. I don't I don't know why. It just reminded me of kind of, you know, that that kind of the rock and roll, the rock from that period, but in a good way, you know. It's like it's like kind of like dominant dominant um power in that song. The guitars felt so oh, I don't I can't even put it to words. I can't put it to words. And also, I really loved uh, the the right channel. Oh, just very very quickly as well. My my camera is mirrored, so when the cable's here, it's it's not actually that. This is my left. Sorry, if I if I unmirror the video, if I if I leave it how it should be, uh, I look like an idiot. So, you know, <laughs> that's that's all there is to it. But uh, the the guitar in the right channel had such a fun boxy tone. I know people don't usually use boxy in a good way when describing music, but I really liked it. It almost reminded me of uh, the guitar tone in Money for Nothing by Dire Straits, which again I love because it almost sounds like it's coming through an old amp, like a smaller amp, but in the best possible way, you know, that kind of charm. It's almost like a like garage rock. I love it. I really love this uh, this, this, this tone. The lyrics, um, interesting, interesting lyrics. This chorus, you lie, cheat, and steal, you lie, cheat, and steal, um, and I tolerate you, and then I cannot tolerate you. And this was, again, as it came through, uh, I'm not innocent, I'm not in innocent, you're not innocent, no one is innocent. It's interesting. It's interesting. You lie, cheat, and steal. I mean, I'm, I'm currently just looking at the lyrics now, and... Um, and there are annotations to these lyrics, kind of you know interpretations. I want to hear what you what you think of of, of these lyrics. Um, these the, the only time I kind of look at uh, annotations are when there are lyrics that I think I don't understand, which I probably should understand. Maybe there's like that sounds stupid because that could be any lyric. Uh, lyrics where there is a deeper meaning to them, something that I can educate myself on. Let's say. So this says that uh, it's a reference to the honor code of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, which apparently uh, Maynard James Keenan attended. And that is, a cadet, cadets will not lie, cheat, or sta steal, or tolerate those who do. So that's the direct, you know, you lie, cheat, and steal, and I tolerate you. And then I cannot tolerate. I wonder if that's, I wonder if I cannot tolerate is then a reference to him attending uh, West Point's and say, you know, almost like a, I'm not allowed to tolerate you, but I tolerate you, kind of thing. Uh, veil of virtue hung to hide your method, while I smile and laugh and dance and sing your praise and glory. Shroud of virtue hung to mask your stigma. <laughs> These lyrics, this is the thing I'll say about Tool, is that no lyric feels like a throwaway lyric. The songwriting is, 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 is pure beauty, to be honest. Uh, my favorite line of the song was, I don't want to rot in an apathetic existence. Apathy, apathetic, one of my favorite words. I think it's one of my favorite words. I think the the phrase unapologetically apathetic has always been one of my favorite phrases. Um, I love it. I think that's great. Um, I, th I think this song, you know, I, I don't want to be hostile, don't want to be dismal. Don't want to rot in an apathetic existence. I want to believe you, and I wanted to trust you, and I want to have faith to put away the dagger. 
I like that contrast though. I want to believe you. I wanted to trust you. I think that's really cool. I think that's a really nice contrast. Our guilt, our blame. I've been far too sympathetic. That's yeah. And then this kind of bridge of you lie, cheat, and steal. There were some great textures in the instrumentals as well. I, I think I, I did this at one point. That was just the. There was just some really great creative panning there. Um, I love a good a good piece of creative panning. Good use of creative panning. Panning. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, I thought this song was great. To be honest, the endings of these videos this kind of like analysis section i i kind of i want in a way i want to steer away from being in an, an analysis because it's something that's got me in, uh got me into a little bit of a spiral i've got into my own head about it because i think there you know I, I i'll do a video and there might be a song that i understand and get and kind of everything makes sense and so that analysis might seem great and then i'll do another one where i don't get it and I feel then like I have to get it and make these educated points um, so that, you know, it, it feels like I'm kind of maintaining this this standard and this quality when really it's just me speaking my thoughts as they're coming to me. So I'm going to try and just from now on, I hope you I hope you don't mind. Don't, you know, hang with me here. Don't don't bite my head off not that any of you would you're so lovely especially the tool fans man you've all been so lovely i think i think someone said welcome to the toolbox and that honestly made my day seeing that um but i'm, I'm just going to talk, tell you what i think of the song to be honest um there won't be this kind of big analysis at the end of these videos i just want to tell you that i really enjoyed the song and hopefully we can all just agree it's a great piece of music um but yeah intolerance that was a really that you know it was, it was a really great song interesting though that it's you know the name of the song's intolerance and it's and i tolerate you cool yeah it's cool it's 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 it was a really cool song that's all there is to it um the next song on the album is prison sex which i'm interested to hear but that's another video thank you so much for checking out this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up it helps me out it helps me gauge what i'm doing right what i'm doing wrong what you like and maybe what you don't like so much and of course over 95% of the people who watch these videos aren't subscribed. So if, you, if you're still here at this point, it's free. You can always unsubscribe later. So subscribe right now. With that, I bid you a very good day. And I hope you, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope you stick around for the next uh, video in this Tool Undertow reaction.